Hello, this is the Saturday Wrap of for Saturday the 26th of September 2020. A semi-satirical look back on the life and times of me. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, including tech, beer, moaning, and this week, and it is also the word of the week, and I nearly didn't say word correctly there, cake. There are lots of things that have not gone well this week. However, in the great scheme of things, I'm counting my blessings, and my blessings ended yesterday with a piece of cake, which was lovely. And if you can hear any noise in the background, and maybe the odd car or two, because I have the window open, although it's really sunny, it's a little bit chilly, but I'm hearing the house a bit. And also, I'm having another go at a Windows 10 Update 2004 on the Lenovo, so the fan is going crazy. I have a full system backup, because I have a feeling that Explorer will not load again. Um, which is a shame. The beer of the week, which I'm drinking out of a Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival 2012 glass, is a knockoff, a deliberate, uh, a deliberate knockoff by Aldi of Punk IPA, and it's called Anti-Establishment IPA, at 5.6% alcohol by volume. And Brewdog have gone and done a knockoff of Anti-Establishment IPA, which I don't know the name of. However, they needn't have bothered, because although this is quite fruity and tasty, it's a little unbalanced, and you shouldn't go out of your way to find it, apart from the fact that it is dirt cheap. So, um, on with the week then. So, uh, this Saturday is much like last Saturday, except, well, they were, and they are, both sunny. But last week, I think it was low 20s, and I think it's about 8 or 9 Celsius at the moment. And it's going to go up to a maximum of about 13 or 14. Autumn is here. Distinctly here, to be honest. Anyway... Last Saturday, I was sitting in the garden, and I decided it was a time to actually start lifting some of the Blue Danube potatoes, which are early main crop, Hungarian, slightly blue-purplish in colour on the outside. Um, they don't boil well, but they make great hard chips. You have to like them, and I certainly do. Anyway... These are ones that were left in the garden from the year before and just grew um, all over the place. Huge amounts of them. Really, really, really huge amounts of them. Very pleased. And I'm probably going out in the garden a little bit later and I'm going to dig up some more. And growing your own does have a certain satisfaction. Even when they come through in places that you didn't really want. So, on to tech. Um, iOS 14 came out last week, or the week before, and I was going to wait for the weekend to do the updates, which I did. They were straightforward, apart from my Apple TV. It's the one before the 4K version. When it got to preparing the update, it just sort of stopped. Um, I don't think it hung, but it stopped, and it said, uh, do not unplug while doing this. So I had to take a chance, and it did work, but it was a bit iffy at times. The update on the Apple TV is fine. Um, the update on the iPad is very much incremental. Uh, the iPhone, well, everyone's gone widget mad. The only thing is, is you can't really use your older widgets on the home screen. You've got to have your newer ones, and some of the widget apps, like Widget Smith, um, bits of them are subscription, and I really don't need a new subscription. 
There is one, and I don't think it's a bug, it's just an annoying thing. If you use a third-party camera app, it makes a camera clicking sound, which you could use to turn off, or at least turn down. Uh, it goes off like the wind at the moment. I pinged the developer, he said yes. As you suspected, that's iOS 14. Hmm... Mind you, later on in the week, I think it was Wednesday into Thursday, uh, iOS 14.1 came out, which was purely bug fixes. Um, I was in the impression, I think a lot of people were, that 14.1 would come out with the new iPhones, which possibly may be announced on October the 13th, um, but that's just rumour mongering at the moment. Wednesday. Wednesday Wednesday we had weather. We had lots of rain and then we had huge well, relatively huge hailstones. In fact I saw a picture from Sheffield where it looked like it had snowed overnight. There was so much white stuff all over the roofs and the roads and what have you, but it was just hailstones. The temperature dropped as well and although we're in a it looks like high pressure at the moment and it's nice and it's sunny it's certainly autumnal my cherry tomatoes well they're gone although the bush uh, determinate ones the ones that you put poles up and whatever they're still hanging on in there um, but turning red very slowly I fear that the first sign of frost and they will be gone. I've had a great deal of luck with the peppers this year. I need to up my game on them and maybe not put them in the middle of everything else so that they have a, a nice sunny position. See? 2020, you might have been a bit odd, but I'm already planning for 2021. Talking of things changing, um, when was it? I'm not altogether sure. Was it Wednesday or was it Thursday? I think it was Wednesday. Um, I was in the Tumble Inn. I'll come back to the Tumble Inn and pubs and that later. And uh, Vicky was there and she popped over for a chat. He's really good like that. Um, she's sort of like a pub landlady of old. Talk to your customers. Anyway, she isn't going to be there for much longer. Yesterday, Friday, was her last day. She has been promoted and I can't think of anyone better. She is going to become an area manager and the area she's got is Swansea and West so she's going to be moving and as I said into an area where new potatoes are king I think she's extremely happy um, she's an extremely good landlady manager um, she ran a tight ship talking of beer I think it was about just coming up to this time last year Oktoberfests. I know Oktoberfest in September doesn't make a lot of sense but they usually are and they usually go into October. Uh, I went to the Gloucester Brewery. I still have my Oktoberfest hat somewhere along the place and I really want to go back but it's not running and I'm locked down. Although we were told this week because there was a review I think it was on Thursday stroke Friday we have at least another week if our figures keep on going down. However, Rondekin and Taft's figures are still high and Flanetli goes into lockdown tonight and Cardiff and Swansea Sunday night at six o'clock. So, um, things are not looking good. Yeah, anyway, and because of that, there are extra semi-lockdown things. You could just walk into a pub, usually um, just by either scanning your app or giving your details and you'd be fine. But now you have to wear a mask to get into a pub. 
once you're sat down and preparing for a drink or food you can take a mask off but if you go to the bar which you shouldn't do um, or go to the coffee place or the toilets you've got to put a mask on which as the Hereford Beer House said we have been doing this since we reopened um, I Apart from lunchtime drinks, don't go to pubs much now. Um, one, because I'm locked down, and two, because they don't tend to have a lot of beers on because not a lot of people go there, and especially with Cascales, it's not worth it. So it's a circular discussion which just makes things worse. So what can you do? Anyway, work this week. Neediness. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, uh, extremely frustrating. However, um, I still have a job. I'm still getting paid. And I can still get to work quite easily. And I'm a scruffy Herbert there. And I think that's one of the things about 2020. Shirt and tie out of the window, no Sunday morning ironing, less electricity used, and uh, that's rather green. Ah, right. Edit this thing and get it out of the door. It's been done on the Mac, by the way. Hindenburg. Right, um, thank you for listening. Um, feedback via whatever feedback uh, source you need to do it by. And um, I'm going to finish my kind of anti-establishment IPA. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>